what's cooking good looking it's your girl extra tuning back at one of the video and today we got a lot to talk about y'all y'all know i've been gone i ain't gonna care i don't know what's up with me but every time i post a video i'll be like all right y'all we back we back on the grind and i don't post for the rest of the week i know y'all tired of but look this is about to stop today. I have developed a whole new schedule. We about to reinstate our purpose. And I got a lot of great news coming for you guys. So let's get started because I don't want to hold y'all too long. I know y'all got stuff to do, even though some of y'all lonely. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But before we start, um, the doctor wanted me to read this note out to you. He says, he says, your doctor told me to prescribe you this medicine. He said, if you're new to the channel, you got to subscribe. And then he also told me to prescribe you this medicine where every video you have to like, comment, and share the love. Look, don't get mad at me, doctor's order. So do what your doctor says. If you're new, subscribe. And if you're not new to the channel, like, comment, and share the love every video. It's not that hard, y'all. Just take your pills. Come on now. Now, with that being said, though, guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. Like, I mean, amazing day. And if you're not, it's going to get better. I'm praying for you. Yeah. But with that being said, y'all. Let's get into this new schedule. So I'm gonna put pictures up just so y'all can follow along. But this is how my new schedule about to be. I'm gonna record on Sunday and post a video Monday. And then I'm gonna record on Tuesday and edit and post a video Wednesday. And then I'm gonna record on Thursday and post every a video Friday. And Saturday will be on my only birthday. So the way the work is, I record every other day and post every other day. So it'll be like if I record on Sunday um that'll be it. i just record sunday and then that following day which would be monday i edit and post the video then it goes on like this so then it'll be like after i edit and post monday i record tuesday then i edit and you know post wednesday hopefully you catch my drift now besides the new um video schedule i want to also mention that most of my content now is about to be um scary game so if you're not if you're not willing to get scared and be like ah! then you might want to unsubscribe Cause we about to be screaming hearts about to be jumping out of our chest parents about to be mad but it's all for the love it's all for the love we got a game y'all because i've been looking at my analytics and i realized most of y'all like my scary videos my playlist is my most like my playlist on my scary games is my most click through um playlist and i get most views on my scary games so you know what that means i'm gonna give y'all what y'all want and we finna start playing a lot of scary games now i ain't gonna care I don't like being scared, but I do like the feel of adrenaline, so I'm down for the ride. So let's get into it, though. So besides the posting schedule, we also got a new thing going on. So people who know me know I used to have an old channel. And I actually want to try to go sub to that second channel. And here's why. Hear me out. On that channel, I want to post content that I won't post on here. Like, I want to post content on, like, Fortnite modern warfare warzone or apex whatever it is that's the stuff i don't want to shine because i feel like this channel is not based on that but if you want to see content like that go sub to my chick second channel i don't know why i just tried to say kicking what is kicking what is kicking you stupid but go sub to my second channel if you want to see banging videos like that link will be in the description and another thing i want to say is i don't want to stream on youtube no more because i don't like having to delete them videos or put them on listed so for most of you who know me from my old channel once again you know i used to stream on twitch so go over there and follow my twitch y'all because we're gonna do live streams every now and then on there i know for one i ain't gonna spoil it. just know to go follow because i ain't gonna lie it's gonna be a hint to what we're gonna um live over there but for most of you who've been here for a while, you know I started a series that I didn't finish. And I want to finish it on Twitch and just knock it out in all in one day whenever I'm free. So if you want to see that live stream, go follow my Twitch. Turn on notifications. Also, share it to some family because we're going to have a great time. Or they're going to be listening to music and chilling. You know, you may even see me do like a drunk uno. No, I'm just playing. I don't drink. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't drink. But besides that, like I said, go sub to my second channel if you want to see content like Fortnite, Modern Warfare, or Apex, or 2K. And also go sub to my channel on Twitch or follow my Twitch channel if you want to see live streams. <laughs> and next thing on my list, I want to talk about my purpose. Now, I'm, I got this all written down because I want to be organized with it. So we've talked about our schedule. We've talked about the channels I want you to go sub or follow to. And now we're going to talk about the reason we start this channel. I feel like sometimes I got to remind myself why we started this channel to stay motivated. So most of you know, if you read my description and stuff, it's also in my about me. I started this channel so that I can gain subs and spread God's word. My whole purpose of this channel is even through content and trying to make y'all laugh and smile. I really want y'all, not trying to force religion, but I really just want to... um 
Try my best to spread my Lord's word. Everybody know I'm a Christian. Proud to be a Christian. Love being a Christian. And I ain't gonna care. Main reason I've been gone for so long is because at a certain point, I feel like I lost or forgot what my purpose was and why I started this YouTube. And that was because I had fell off with my relationship with God. I admit I struggle sometimes and I start reading my Bible. Recently, I got back into it. I worship Him every night. I do my Bible study. I write down five cents to educate myself on. And I made this new Bible study method up that I want to introduce y'all also. So I just want to reinstate once again. My purpose is to just gain followers or subscribers and spread the Lord's word. And along with spreading His word, I want to be able to convert more pe people to Christianity. 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 Christ well, how, bro, how do you pronounce? Why am I struggling? I just want to promote more. I just want to. I just want to convert more people to Christians. I don't know why I can't pronounce the word right now, but it's okay. But I'm not trying to force religion at the same time. If if you feel like it's just not for you, and some people I know don't believe in God, then I'm not gonna force it. But hopefully, in some ways, I can convince you to at least take a peek in the Bible and see what it's about. But besides that, I also want to update you on my life, man. I just want to tell y'all, I've been great ever since I got back in my relationship with God. It's just, it's just like you just can't complain it's so amazing and you just you just don't go a day without complaining you just be so grateful and that's why i miss the relationship with god because it made me remind myself even on the bad days it just made me remind myself who my god is like god always got a plan for you he know what he's gonna do with your life before you can even think about it that's why i had to be my relationship with him because i feel like when i had my relationship with him i never had a day where i forgot what my purpose was or i had a day where i just felt lost that's why i had to get my life back together and get on track and let him lead the way but besides that y'all we've talked about our purpose our schedule and the channels and you know i want you to go follow or subscribe to the last thing we're gonna talk about is bible study because i know y'all miss bible study and i feel really bad for stop doing it at the blue like i used to do it on instagram but as most people know i'm taking a break from social media I just needed the break, and I'm not going to be on to next year. So I used to do it on Instagram, then I moved to YouTube, but then I just stopped doing it completely. So in order to fix that, I needed the schedule that'll fit me. So every Wednesday and Sunday now, we're going to do Bible study. And the Bible study is going to be different too, guys. Like, usually when I did Bible study, we read like, what was it, three chapters a day and broke it down and took notes on it. But I feel like at this point, that's really too much, especially the times I be live streaming. So I knew where I'm doing Bible study is. We're going to pick a topic. So say we have Bible study Wednesday. We'll choose. We'll maybe choose the topic love. And then we'll read a certain chapter in that Bible that relates to love and explain why it's important. Because I feel like reading um all the chapters from Genesis and onward will take too long. And I feel like in my opinion, I feel like for y'all, it'll be better if y'all read it yourself. And then maybe even though some days we could talk about the Bible, like if y'all ever read Genesis or something. So I knew what I was going uh, of doing Bible study would be way easier. We're just going to choose a topic and dwell on that topic. And then if you want to get yourself some more Bible study in, I suggest just, you know, for yourself, going into your Bible and starting from Genesis and taking notes and watching Bible Project, which is some people I watch that really help me. And also, if you want to get more connected with God, watch sermons like Mike Todd, um, Steve Furtick. And there's a lot more people. I can leave their descriptions. Uh, or not the description, but the link in my description. If you want to check out their channel. But to make it easier on myself, we're going to do Bible study like that, just choosing a certain topic and then speaking on there for that Bible study. And then last but not least, for people who do want to do Bible study on their own, when you're like when I'm not doing Bible study, which is on Wednesday and Sunday, I'm going to teach y'all this easy Bible study method that I came up with by myself that I feel like can actually help a lot of people who want to build their relationship with God. Now, most people think it's too much, but I'm going to be honest. It's not too much because when you're doing it for God, it's not too much because God didn't think it was too much when he sacrificed his life for us for our sins. So take your time to really study this Bible study method because I really think it can help you build a relationship with God. This, this is literally what I do every night. So it's not like I'm just giving you some hard that I can't even do. So the Bible study method is just a simple method to get you connected with God and it goes step by step and how you should start off. So I'm going to put a picture up right now. I'm probably on this side. Hopefully, Terry, listen, put it up here. Don't look stupid and put it over here up here all right you got me all right so the first step in the bible study method is to pray that as you study your bible that god brings clarity to tough scriptures to understand and pray that you find answers to problems that you have been struggling with now the point of this step is before I, before i always start reading my bible because sometimes it can get difficult to understand what you read and like i know at certain points in exodus and leviticus i struggle with understanding the point of why in the bible it told us all these steps the lord had made for the um 
made for them to build a tabernacle. But then I thought prayed for clarity and did a Bible study with my mom. It made me realize that the whole point, which helped me with a lesson, was to pay attention to how obedient they had to be. When it comes to God, you have to be obedient and really listen to him. You have to be obedient so you can hear what he's trying to say to you and that you can live in the likeliness of him. And that's why I say pray before you read your Bible because it brings clarity. It helps you understand why you're actually reading this. Because at first, when I wasn't praying, I was just reading to be reading to make sure I'm staying connected with God. It was hard for me to understand certain things. But when I started praying for clarity, he made me realize in certain chapters, he's teaching you what to follow in life. Like like I said, when I was reading Leviticus, if you read Leviticus and Exodus, you'll pay attention or you'll see when reading about the tabernacle, he has very like clear rules on how he wanted the tabernacle to be built and how he wanted them to act in the tabernacle. And at first I was just like, why are we learning all this? I don't like, you know, I was just being closed minded. But then when I prayed, I realized I was reading it to also learn how important it is to be obedient because if they were to mess up in the tabernacle, it would take away his holiness. So it was very important on why he gave all these rules. And the next thing I want to talk about, I also said pray that you find answers to problems that you have been struggling with. I say this because when you read it sometimes, you don't always see it, but there's actually answers in the Bible. Like I tell you, or like I've heard, they say the Bible is the only thing that you can read and they'll read you back. And that's true because I realized when I was reading Leviticus and I was praying for answers, like, because sometimes when you read the Bible, it gives you answers to like things you're handling in real life. And I realized when I was reading, I need to learn obedience because what obedience becomes, um, bring self-discipline self-discipline helps you with being able to make sure you're reading your bible every day and staying on point and really trying to live in god's likeliness so that's why that first step is really essential when it comes up to bible study the next step i have is to as you're preparing to do Bible study, to listen to gospel music, to get your mindset right and rejoice in the Lord and worship him. So it's very important for me that before I start reading my Bible and after I pray, I listen to gospel music and I get my notebook ready and set up and I get my Bible out and I just prepare while listening to gospel music. And I often get caught up and I almost catching the Holy Spirit. So that's why I believe it's very important to listen to gospel music or worship music before you start because you want to just get in that mindset to praise the Lord and worship him and just really glorify him. The next step we have is the third step is to write down five sins and read Bible verses that connects with that sin. Now, I've showed y'all this method before, but if you're new to the channel, you probably don't understand what I'm saying. So basically what I mean is, I'm going to leave that, um, the link to this um, website that I use. So it's this website I have that has like almost all the sins and commands or rules that the Lord has placed in the Bible for us to learn. And every day before in my bible study after i have prayed and listened to the gospel music and have gotten all my essential tools that i need for bible study i started off by writing down five sins and with the five sins on that website it tells you like the sin or command or the rule and next to it has a bible verse so what i do every night is i write down five other sins and each bible verse that connects with it and as i go like one by one i write down a bible verse and the um sin and then i read the bible verse so i can know um like i can know what verse goes with that sin so that's the third method i use and then the, my second method and i want to start real quick just because i want too fast and make sure y'all understand what i'm saying these are all important just to me for bible study and it helps me connect with the lord and i don't want y'all to think it's too much because once you get used to the schedule you'll realize how easy it is like it really goes by quick and it makes you feel good to just sit there and do it like when you do bible study my bible studies like with this method probably lasts about an hour and maybe even longer but it's okay because you just need that time to dwell in the lord because in that moment you're dwelling with the lord it's like you forget about everything all your worries all your burdens just lift up and it just feel good to rejoice in him and learn more about your lord because you got to remember the lord lives inside of us and we try our best to live in the likeliness of him so reading the bible is really reading about the lord and how you can be more like him and just you know spread his word and etc etc and then after the third method which is writing down the five sins in the bible verse that connect with it you move on to like the essential part, which is reading five chapters a day and taking notes. Now, I want to state something. Along with me taking notes myself for every five chapters I read, I also use Bible Project. And y'all know I mentioned it a lot. Bible Project is a YouTube channel that breaks down the chapters of the Bible. It gives you their own notes. And it's really clear and it really clears up why them chapters are important. So I suggest during this method, when you read your five chapters, that you actually do go to the Bible Project um, YouTube channel. Because it can really help you take notes and really understand parts that you struggle with while reading your chapters. And fourthly, not fourthly, fourth method is to write and break down three Bible scriptures. Now, I'm going to show you an example of what I mean by this. So, I have these index cards. And after I'm done 
praying like i'm reinstating the beginning after i have prayed listened to gospel prepared myself and wrote and i have wrote written down the five says and read my five chapters and taking notes i move on to my fifth method with it no is this the fourth or the fifth I move down to my fourth method and I write down and break down three Bible scripts. Now, the way I do this, I have in this cards and well, how I do it is I head it with like the um, chapter and verse and everything that I'm getting the scripture from. So like in this, on this, in this card right here, I got the Bible scripture from 1 John chapter 4 verse 16. And I also write down the version I got it from. So I got this from the King James Version. And after I head it, I put down the Bible scripture. Like I write it completely. And this Bible scripture says, And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love. He dwelleth in love, dwelleth in God, and God in him. Now, after I have written down the Bible scripture, I put a little bulletin point that says, What does this mean? Now, this is the part where you begin to break down what that Bible scripture meant. So, after you write the Bible scripture, you put down on um, what does it mean and then you explain in your own words what you believe this bible scripture means like in this situation i said this bible scripture means we know god loves us so much we have put our trust in his love god is love and all who live in love live in god and god lives in them that was my idea behind what this bible scriptures mean and then last step of my own um, bible study method now this last step do it once a week and i made a note of that in the um picture so i'm gonna post the picture up on here too so you can just follow along the last step is a method you use every once a week and it's to finally thank god for living it's very important to really you're supposed to do this every time you wake up in the morning just thank god for waking you up but at this moment you do it once a week not once a week every day you should be thanking i want to make it clear that every day you should thank the lord for living this shouldn't be a weekly thing the only weekly part of this certain bulletin point is to write down three things you are grateful for five things you want to accomplish and seven things you struggle with i call this the three five seven method i made this up on my own so once again the three five seven method will be to write down three things you are grateful for five things you want to accomplish and seven things you struggle with and that's a once a week thing but the only thing that will not be once a week that's in this method is to finally thank god every day and i can't stress this enough every day you should thank god for living because it's, it's a literal it's a literal blessing like you should be so happy to live every day because not everybody make it. You yeah, think about it like this. This is why it's important to thank God every day for living. It's not even the fact that um, it's just, you know, I'm grateful for it. And you got to think about it. Not everyone makes it to see another day or they don't even live through the day we live in there right now. That's why every more every moment it's important to thank god for living and with that being said that's the whole bible study method and i really hope that a lot of you use this bible study method and i hope that it helps you build your relationship with god because it helps me and think about it it's not too much trust me it might sound like too much for beginners but it's not because it's actually a really simple method once you get used to it and really understand it and if you like this method share it to some friends share the gospel y'all don't be too scared like the other day after i created this method i sent it to a lot of group chats that my friends was in i sent it to family members and just told them to use this me method as a reference now you can make up your own method but if you do want to go by this method i, I really feel like it can help you but with that being said y'all that was the main focus on this video just to go over what we covered we talked about my schedule and how, how i'll be posting from now on we talked about the fact that i need y'all to go follow my twitch and follow my second youtube channel that's if you want to but definitely sub to this channel because this is my most important channel and after that we talked about um <clears throat> the purpose of this channel and the update on my life and lastly we close it off with the bible study method i really hope you guys enjoyed this video exo game we getting back on the grind be ready for um this new schedule is basically every other day so be ready for another video coming wednesday and i see you guys i also want to tell y'all i've been working hard too you know working hard at work and getting some money we're gonna start investing in some more stuff soon so Get ready for in the future. I'm not going to say it now because it's definitely not going to happen now. But in the future, I'm definitely doing an updated um gaming setup. So I can't wait for that. But once again, I love you. That's a game. And just to remind y'all what y'all doctor said. Your doctor told me to tell you to prescribe you this medicine. He said for new subs, you need to subscribe. He said if you're new to the channel, subscribe. You got to take your medicine, y'all. So subscribe. And then he said to people who's, you know, already been sub. He said he prescribed you this medicine where every video you have to like, comment, and share the love. Hey, look, like I said, it's not my rules. Your doctor gave you the medicine. You need to take it every time I post a video. With that being said, guys, I love you. Hold on. Say it with me. If you know the intro, say it with me. Remember, you're beautiful. You're handsome. You're smart. 
Don't let no one tell you other than that. You have a great personality. Never change yourself for anybody's opinion or hate towards you. I love you, SL Gang. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Do what your doctor said. And peace out. Also, did y'all like the new intro? I said, what's cooking? Good looking. You look good. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Hold on. Oh, let me show y'all my dance roll. Y'all like my shoes on the wall, too? We're going to intro it out like this. <clears throat> Ready? With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the Daily Bible verse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I understand my new schedule. I also hope you're having a great night. And I'm sorry that this video got out so late. Peace out, guys.